through the NRM board we decided to uh, work with a group of farmers up on East Nair Peninsula to try and establish some uh, fodder shrubs. Back in 2006 and 7, we were having some dry years and um, these magnesia patches on our ground were starting to show up and uh, were being eroded and the wind was blowing them and sheep were camping on them. And so it was a bit of an idea just to try and get some pro productivity out of, out of non-productive ground. We put them in a, in a dry time of the year and never had any follow-up rains to get them established. So yeah, the plants did suffer a fair bit. There's a couple of varieties that didn't succeed the first six months. They survived quite well for the conditions. Uh, had uh, around about 80 odd percent uh, survival rate. We've got something on on ground that beforehand was just a, a blowhole when it was established in a drought. So that was the whole idea was trying to stop soil erosion. At this stage, it's still only a trial site. So we haven't actually put it into a, a full scale experiment. We're still experimenting in direct seeding and, and to make a more of a broad acre situation. Looking at the um, productivity that's coming out of this trial now, there is the potential for it to be put into a broad acre situation and, and try and get a bit of cover on a lot bigger areas of our farm that are, are causing problems. Some salt bush are a bit more palatable than others, so they are a bit selective as to which ones they want to want to eat. We did do a bit of an experiment on, the, on a mob of sheep in there and, and worked out that they didn't actually increase any weight at this stage, so, but they maintain weight, so that's a good thing in, in times of drought that they just keep their condition instead of deteriorating. We haven't done much monitoring of the sheep side of it at this stage, so we don't really know the full potential of it as a grazing um, commodity. Into row sowing, we've, we've tried um, sowing with ryegrass and, and clovers and even some um, native grasses, wallaby grass and things like that to just try and get some ground cover on these these dry magnesia eroded areas. So some some of that is establishing itself. We've been doing uh, grazing trials each year ever, ever since that 2008, um, around autumn time. During those grazing trials, we actually uh, measured all the shrubs beforehand. Um, uh, with um, biomass and um, then we um, put the sheep in, in at very high stocking rate so they, they went in at uh, around about 80 to 100 DSC per hectare. These salt bush sites, they, they need to be stocked at very high stocking rates otherwise you get selective grazing. Just kept monitoring them um, right through the period until they'd actually grazed pretty much uh, the shrubs back to sticks, monitoring which ones they like best and, and certainly um, they quite often ate all the intro out um, before they uh, started on the shrubs and then, then worked their way through different shrubs. The sheep actually seemed to graze the, um, all the others except the salt bush until last but it, leaving them in there long enough, they seem to uh, yeah, get used to the salt bush and, and eat them. By the time they'd got through to the last plot, well, they seem to be eating a more balanced diet. They uh, take a long time to get accustomed to salt bush. Sort of depends on the salt bush too. There's different varieties of salt bush that they eat more readily than others. We actually chose four varieties out of these this plot, initial plot that we did and uh, sowed, sowed a, um, oh, about a four hectare area. Last year we set up a grazing trial. They maintained their weight, they didn't actually gain any weight. We probably pushed them harder than we would normally out in a, uh, a farmer wood out in his paddock. So at least under those conditions they maintain weight. So I reckon that was fairly encouraging. Getting this adopted out in the uh, in across the landscape is going to be fairly challenging because of uh, the cost involved. These shrubs won't be planted right across the landscape, they'll be just used in certain areas of uh, in the farming situation uh, where cropping is not profitable. Um, it might be due to um, climate 
variability change, um, um, you know, uh, or just soil structure like um, like ma magnesium or other soil constraints.